everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how i rearranged my smart doll display to accommodate my new smart dolls and i started with summer because summer's my original girl she is the one that is most special to me because i got her first and i got her in japan i'm just brushing her hair out to get her ready for display now for my brush i use it's just a wig brush i brought from a beauty supply place um and i use that to brush through her hair and kind of smooth it out but I want her to be center. I want her to be the center of the display because she's my original girl. She's so beautiful. I love her. So I put her in the center of the star. And this is an American Girl wardrobe um, like shelf. And that's what they stand on top of. So she's there front and center. And so I decided to go in order of the dolls that I got. So next up is Justice. Next up is Mirai because I got her third. And with them being crowded and I had to make sure the arms are tucked all the way in. Next is Kanata, who was my only the brave girl. Now, a lot of people ask me where I get these little Duffy and friends for my smart dolls. They're Disney Parks plushies from keychains. So you have to go to a Disney park to get them. I've gotten mine from Tokyo Disneyland, Disney World, and Aulani in Hawaii. But you can also buy them on eBay. I went out of order here for the order I got them because I wanted to do one of each color in the back. So next up is Singularity, even though I actually got Fortitude before her. Now it's Fortitude's turn and what I figured out to do for them is to bend their legs and in most cases I'm going to turn their feet upside down. I didn't with her but I'm going to place them in front of their same colored beverage um, doll. I may actually end up switching that up so I just pulled them out and then I'm bending the legs up and I'm kneeling them in front of their counterparts in the back and turning the feet up helps just with the space. And I also tried to line their knees up across the front so that they would all be in a similar position. This isn't ingenious or anything, but it was the way I figured out, hey, I can actually display more smart dolls than I realized I could. Last up is the newest girl in the house, Anomaly Zombie, and so she is going onto the shelf. Just a few final adjustments to the dolls. So here's the final display and getting them all to kind of look in the same direction and stuff is sort of difficult, but I like the way the display worked out because I can see them all and I didn't have to put anybody in storage. I didn't have to end up with the floating head scenario, which clearly didn't work out for me because I went ahead and got a cocoa body for Storm right after I got her, as a matter of fact. So you can see that didn't go too well. I do need to get extra Duffy and friends, but I'm going to hold off. I'm not gonna get them on eBay. I'm gonna hold off and try to get them at some Disney parks as I travel, because that's a fun thing for me to search for and go on the treasure hunt to get those. But they're just all sitting on their knees in front, and I think that's a good solution for being able to display them. And if you look, you can kind of see how I've interwoven their feet 
with the legs of the other dolls, being careful not to touch any bare vinyl to the shoes in case it might stain. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you were to do something similar to that, that if you're touching those bare feet to different, you know, to different materials, there might be some staining. And look, there's actually an extra hole there for another Cinnamon Smart doll. So I don't know who it's going to be yet, but there is going to have to be at least one more Cinnamon Smart doll to go in that empty space. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to share with me in the comments below how you display your smart dolls, I would love to hear it. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, and Susie W. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information about joining my Patreon, please see the link in the video description. Thank you.